Welcome to the Northwestern Regional Contest of MasterChef USA. One more step in our mission to crown the best amateur chef in the country. Let's go on now to meet our three brave contestants in the red, yellow and blue kitchens, where they've already started their cooking. But first, remember, it's got to be jacket off, sleeves up, now let's get cooking. Each contestant on MasterChef must create a three-course menu in less than two and a half hours for less than $75. Oh, David, it smells good in here. And what's coming out of the oven already? Uh, puff pastry stars. Oh, delicious. Well, in the red kitchen here, we have David Ross from Spokane in Washington. David's first course is salt and pepper prawns with sugar walnuts on a bed of Chinese cabbage slaw. His main course is fragrant spiced pork with lychee plum conserve, braised baby bok choy and green onion noodles. And for dessert, some puff pastry stars with apple compote and candied ginger ice cream. Quite a combination of flavours there, it David. Is, it is. But it all seems to be going so well. I see you've done your little stars uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. And what's going on in here? This is a lychee plum conserve. It's uh, lychee fruit, plums, Chinese five spice, sugar, uh, cinnamon. And then that's cooked down with some uh, satsuma juice. And then really? I puree that and add a little uh, satsuma zest. Just to give a little sort of yeah. bitter bite yeah. behind it as well. And that'll go with the pork. But you feel confident? I do, I do. I mean, I'd be so nervous. You all look <laughs> so, so relaxed about it. And here we are looking for the best amateur cook yeah. in the whole of this country. Mm -hmm. I want to wish you Great. the Thank very, you. very best. Thank and you. I hope everything's going to go well for you. Thank you. It all smells very good, good. so I don't think you've got too much to worry like about. It. But let's go and take a look in the yellow kitchen. So here we are, Yellow Kitchen, and a very big welcome to Kathy Obano from Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. Now, you've got quite an exciting menu, haven't you? I do. Lots and lots of flavours. And the first course is going to be grilled scallop ceviche with jicama. Her main course is grilled steak with enchiotti marinade, avocado relish and chipotle marmalade. And Kathy's dessert is tropical trifle one that I love, with mango, banana and almonds. Are you spoiling me with that trifle? I am. I wanted to. What are you actually peeling here? Now, is this the tomatillo? This is a tomatillo. I was reading about these, and mm -hmm. this isn't something that we get uh, in England. No. And it's got like a very sort of wafer, mm -hmm. sort of... Papery skin. Yeah. It's from the gooseberry family, actually. Now, I was quite surprised looking at your whole menu because you're using so many different kind of chilies. Where did that influence come from? Um, I grew up in Southern California, and I um, grew up around... Uh, a lot of Hispanic people. So I quite natural flavours exactly. to you. Exactly. And they I really feel are. it's an underrated cuisine, so I wanted to do something really special. And what I can't understand, how is it so clean? How do you work so clean, clean and tidy? I don't this know. is clean and tidy. Oh. But anyway, best of luck to right, you. you. Let's go and take a look in the blue kitchen. And finally, in the blue kitchen, I'd like to welcome Joe King from Seattle in Washington. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. So far, so good? Yes, it's going great. Well, Joe has got a wonderful menu for us with portobello carpaccio served with fixings and truffle greens. The main course is fennel and leek risotto with grapefruit, mint, and chili. And for dessert, steamed fig and pear cake with spiced red wine syrup. Now, that is, or sounds like to me, a complete vegetarian menu. Oh, it is indeed, completely vegetarian. So are you an actual vegetarian yourself, Joe? Yes, have been for 18 years or so. Now, what really interests me about your particular menu is the risotto itself, because oh. with the fennel flavour going on there, you've also got grapefruit, and that seemed like two very, very powerful flavours working together. Where did that come from? I wanted to have a nice, warm winter meal, and the risotto is creamy and warm. It has all the, has the leeks in it. I adore it. And the risotto. grapefruit is, is this citrusy spurt that's in contrast to so everything that's going on. So you get that bite happening exactly, here. Right. I can't wait to see you make that risotto. And one other dish that's really exciting to me is the portobello mushroom carpaccio. Normally you're looking at something with a carpaccio which is raw, raw meat on a plate, and then you've taken it vegetarian style. Well, I can't wait to try that dish as well. Carpaccio, here I come. Well, with about one hour left in our contestants' cooking time, we'll leave them to work on their menus and go to meet our celebrity judges. Best of luck to you, John. Thank you.
Our first judge is the editor for Food and Entertaining for Sunset Magazine. Since 1959, she's been the editor of the monthly Sunset Food Guide and has produced many best-selling Sunset cookbooks. We are very proud to welcome Jerry ann DeVecchio. Thank you. Good morning, Gary. Yes. Here. Our second judge is the perfect choice to help choose the Northwest Regional winner. He was chosen as the best chef in the Northwest by the James Beard Association in 1994 and owns three of Seattle's most remarkable restaurants the Daily Lounge, Etta's, and Palace Kitchen. Please welcome Tom Douglas. Hi, Gary. Now, it was interesting reading, Jerry Ann, about yourself because, of course, when you joined the Sunset Magazine many, many years ago, mm -hmm. looking at just regional cooking, it really wasn't accepted, was it, across the country? You know, the magazine's 100 years old, and it's all about the West. And what we've talked about in food, encouraged in food, it's really shaping what's going on in the rest of the country today. I certainly was influenced by San Francisco, Sunset Magazine, things like that. But then combining that with the Northwest fresh ingredients, I mean, berries, mushrooms, seafood of every sort, and then uh, you see it now traversing the country. Is there any menu today that stands out for you as what you consider to be the winning, the winning menu? I immediately went towards the Asian-influenced, uh, the pork over here. I think it's behind me, but uh, yeah. uh, I'm a big pork fan. Uh, you know, that Chinese roasted duck. And yourself? Well, I have to say that I'm intrigued by uh, the approach of the vegetarian menu because um, the regard and the respect and the potential of vegetables, and I am not of that persuasion, but I adore vegetables, and I don't know if you like I am on the plate. I find myself eating all the way around the meat. The meat's the last thing I go to. So. Now, for me, I'm looking towards the yellow kitchen, basically, because of, there's such an abundance of all the different chilies that are going on. Now, this is something that, oh, yes. in my cooking, in my sort of style, I don't really use an awful lot. So I'm going to be, hopefully, discovering. So... Uh, well, I don't know about any of you, but I fancy um, going to do a little bit of tasting. Should we go and have a look in the Great. red, yellow, blue kitchens? Let's go. Good. I'm glad we're Let's go and take a look. <laughs> Very good so far. So what stage are we at now? We're ready to lay out the portobellos and you can see that they're pounded flat. So these you cooked first, didn't you? They were roasted with a little garlic powder and wine, sliced thin, and then you saw me earlier pounding them. Just pounding those out. And they don't break up, I'm amazed. The can, they're just really... So David, am I allowed to be naughty like this? You are, Have please. a little pre tasters Help yourself. That tastes absolutely wonderful as it is. Really nice and soft. Nice little bite happening uh -huh. behind that. But you've decided to fry it as well to get mm -hmm. another texture. Mm -hmm. Another texture because there's the pork on top, which is a little bit soft. Right. So, that was just pureed the juice. Oh, I think it was the actual milk. That is so interesting that you sear them on the outside mm -hmm. first. I did. I've never seen that in ceviche before. What's your reasoning? Well, I had this down in Zihuatanejo, uh, Mexico one time, where uh -huh. they seared the outside of the scallop, and just so it was just opaque and so a little soft inside, and it gave it real nice textures. So you double the flavor, just, yeah. over, just like that. That's great. What, what do you think so far? Because it seems to me yellow and blue kitchens are big stress now. They seem to be getting behind. Kathy's got quite a lot of dishes to put together. And I think uh, Joe's kind of on the cool side. Well, he looks sort of on the cool side, but I think he's... He just whispered to me, I'm behind. Oh, God, I'm behind. <laughs> so far, so good. Everything seems to be... Well, of course, it's a contest, so we're jam-packed here. and, and uh, I'm glad to hear that, because that's what I really want to get across, because there is sweat on the brow. There is sweat on the brow. Sweat on the brow. <laughs> Pressure's on now. I mean, how do you feel about this? You know, well, this is a national competition, to be the best amateur cook in the country. Well, I feel good right now. I, I, I was nervous at first, but I think it's going well now. It's just all ready pretty much to plate, and then we'll, we'll be ready to taste. Because that's, you know, that is a big title to carry, isn't it? It is, very you big. Know, yeah. Very big. I think David looks the most relaxed. Yeah. No stress, no pressure. Kathy is, you know, well, I read, read about Kathy, and she has got 
about 10 cooking contests under her belt. So if anyone can pull it together, it's probably going to be her. That's my okay. guess. Should we go and take another taste? Yeah. Let's go. What's this in here? That is brown sugar chipotle chilies. Chipotle. Chipotle chilies. Am I saying that right? You are saying it beautiful. I tell am me very again. impressed. Tell me one more time. Chipotle chili. Are you under a bit of stress now? A bit of stress. If you want me out, kick me no, out. No, Just no, no, no. You can, you can stay. You need to get Let's me a spoon as soon as possible. Love that that shaved parmesan. You, you, I saw you use this, but you know what makes cool thin curls too? It's like a peeler, vegetable oh, peeler. Yeah. Makes really thin kind of. Curly cues. Oh, I should have said that five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out of your way. way. I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to okay. leave you to it. Okay. Thanks for the hug. Needed that. <laughs> Hang on. Just one more. Okay. Okay. It's in here. It's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. It's getting close. <laughs> the tension is quite unbelievable. I feel for Joe. I mean, I'm just concerned that he's not going to be ready on time at all. Kathy's got it wired, but, but he's so he's, like he's been too Dr. Cool. He's way, way ahead of his time. It's going to be interesting whether we're going to lose some of those flavors tasting. Now, do you make your own puff pastry? No, this is good commercial. for you. Learning how this to do is But I'll tell you what David does do. He makes his own ice cream and wine. I do while you've been chatting away, I've been, a, I've been a naughty boy oh, and just yeah. having a little taste. So that's just a little bit there. These are the mashed figs that are going in the fig These and pear cake. Mm -hmm. You can see I have my selection of pears there behind the mixer. All right, Tim. Yes. He hasn't even started the risotto yet, and we're very, very close. Mm -hmm. so anything else that stuck out in your mind? There's an awful lot going on in the yellow kitchen as well with Kathy. I mean, I love the little scallop uh, salsa that's happening there, the ceviche. That's what I'm looking forward to. Don't you think this is Mr. Relaxed? You are so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> Do you spend a lot of time in Asia? No. Oh, how cool this guy is. He is. You know, he is so cool. Is, is this part of your professional training? No, it is not at all. I was extremely nervous. Um, and I don't think I've... Oh, I've got to stop you there. I've got to stop you there. <laughs> that sound means that we've only got 10 minutes to go. So I think it's probably a good idea if we leave all of our contestants alone and we'll get ready for that tasting. Wait, thanks, Gary. 10 minutes. All right, good luck. Are we looking forward to this? Absolutely. I know you are as well at home because David's first choice is salt and pepper prawns with sugar walnuts on a bed of Chinese cabbage slaw. And then we're going to follow that with a very delicious looking main course. And it's fragrant spice pork with lychee plum conserve, braised baby bok choy, and of course, green onion noodles. And to finish, we have the nice little dessert of puff pastry stars with apple compote and candy ginger ice cream. All sounds very good. Mm. David, sounds good. Now we're going to let you know if it tastes good. So let's start with these prawns. I must say the presentation, very, very simple but mm -hmm. effective. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I'm going to try it all together, see if I can get the, <clears throat> the whole flavour. The prawns are cooked perfectly. They're still moist but with a crisp outside. Good balance with the, the spiciness of everything mm. else going on there. It mm -hmm. sort of really gives another flavour on the palate. This we'll get rid of and we'll go on to our lovely main course. Oh, quite powerful by the looks of it. Oh. Do I have Go to back. wait for you to cut? No, you don't. No, not at all. <laughs> the crunch that gives as well when you're eating that with the pork. Mm -hmm. You've got that crunch of the noodle, but still a softness happening underneath as well. Well, I think this has got to be everybody's favourite, hasn't it? When you're talking about homemade ice cream and you've got your, your, your apples. That's quite an attempt to make ice cream on TV, you know. <laughs> the warmth of the ginger mm. just coming yeah. through. Kind of an east-west thing going on here, apple and, and yeah... Certainly not apple pies, I remember. That's right. Mm. Well, I think we'll move on to the yellow kitchen, shall Ready. we? All right. So here we are in the yellow kitchen, and Kathy's first course is grilled sea scallop ceviche with jicama. Her main course was grilled steak with achiote marinade, avocado relish, and chipotle marmalade. And then to finish, we have a wonderful tropical trifle of mango, banana, and 